Instead of telling you another funny story from my childhood, I thought it would be more important to talk about everything that led to today's life-changing decision. Just to ease your anxiety, yes, I'll still be uploading videos. Yes, we're online! My name's Alex. Hello, Internet. What's up, Web Geek? I got some great news for you. We have reason to celebrate. I have reached 100 subscribers. I uploaded my first video in December 2009. When we were that looks... That looks kind of nice. Hey, guys. <laughs> I was nervous, had no idea what I was doing, but was hopeful I'd figure it out. It's called the cat that always shits in my shoes. Let's see you beat that, sucker! I tried making tech reviews. I covered the news. Even though there was nothing I thought newsworthy on the news, I will share something newsworthy with you. But it wasn't until three years later that I found a format that clicked with you. I used hand-drawn art to tell the story about dating a girl. When I saw how much you loved the art, it pushed me to be a better artist. Over the years, I slowly improved and focused my channel on animation because it seemed to be how I could best bring you joy. The goal was to build a fan base big enough that I could take the comedy act I was doing on the street and take it on tour for you. I'm here at Art Sarbin, having a great time with a wonderful crowd in Omaha, Nebraska. Check them out! Love lifts us up where we belong. I still felt like my abilities as an artist were holding the channel back. So I took all the money I earned from the channel and bet it on investing in this. Who are you? I'm Chris. I'm your assistant animator. Uh, this is Pickle Dipper. This is the new design. It's based off of your thing. Uh-huh. And uh, this is Kimchi. The viewers wanted uh, a pickle dog, so we designed something based off of their idea. Chris is a huge part of the channel's success. With the help of him and many animators that were way more talented than me, the channel finally started to grow. So we're almost at a million. And I just want to let you know that when I do have a million or that I have two million, I'm still one of you. Nothing, nothing's gonna change. How many pizzas? Yeah! <laughs> Pizza! But there's something about that night I wasn't totally honest about. Even though I was smiling for the camera, off camera, I felt like I didn't deserve it. It was a feeling like, you'll never be good enough. No matter how hard you try, there is a part of you that no one will ever like. For example, it embarrasses me to admit this, but I remember there was all these top 10 lists of YouTube animators, and I would never make it onto those lists, even though I had tons of subscribers. And I was constantly self-doubting myself, wondering what I was doing wrong, wondering why nobody liked me. I became nervous to promote shows because things like this would happen. Five minutes to show time. Not good. So I got all these people waiting to check out the show. I hope they show up soon. My fans want me. They need me. It's going to be good. In fact, I remember when I hit a million, I didn't even want to throw a party because I felt like it wasn't a big accomplishment. 
Sometimes you take your accomplishments for granted and you want to wait until you feel like you really did earn something. Luckily, I had people all around me, like my wife, that believed in me. I think my neighbors are having a party. So what's your secret? I go insane. Nothing beats. <laughs> oh, man. I'm totally shocked right now. <laughs> hey, Alex. What? It's, com it's complete. No, dude. No. Thanks, Dad. No. Yes. <laughs> Thank you to everyone around me. They told me to keep going, pushing. All I've ever wanted to do is figure out how to make videos that matter to you. We kept pumping out videos until I stumbled across a story that luckily resonated with tons of you. You ever have a crush on someone you totally shouldn't have? Well, in the seventh grade, I had a forbidden love. My babysitter. Well, this ah, was oh unexpected, God. to uh, say the least. I don't think I can date you anymore. What? I started getting hundreds of thousands of subscribers a day. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Wait, what? Get in the car now, quick, before they take our money. No, because of the Dating My Babysitter series, everything changed. I started having fan interactions. Oh, this is Alex. Oh, this is you. Oh, I'm such a big fan. Who's this? Oh, dude, this is Rashad. And I saw your video and I figured out your hotel room. Oh. This is actually really cool. I've had a lot of you guys come to the shows over the years, but it's really starting to pick up this year. Because of the success of the babysitter videos, I was able to experience the highlight of my career, going on tour. It made me realize how much I mean to so many of you all around the world. Meeting you in person, getting to finally accomplish what you've been spending your whole life working on. It's a feeling I hope that every single one of you gets to experience. It just, it gives your life meaning. And it was awesome. Behind the scenes, I was excited that I had a staff that was coming with me on this journey. The new Alex Clark Studios is now open. Ah! Oh, I hope they like it. I hope they like it. I hope they like it. Whoa! This is so cool! Oh my god! Alex! <laughs> Isn't this crazy? This is a real office! <laughs> this is insane! For a second, I felt like I mattered. I thought it was the start of my planned next chapter. And then... China has identified the cause of the mysterious new virus, coronavirus. There are fears a rapidly spreading virus has reached Australia. When you upload a video to YouTube, YouTube rates it from 1 to 10 based on how well it performed. If your video does really well, it's number 1. And if it does poorly, it's ranked number 10. And over the course of the pandemic, whenever I'd upload, Every video performs slightly worse than the last. Every time I'd say, you'll get them next time, Alex. And I never did. I went from getting hundreds of thousands of views per video to feeling lucky if anyone even clicked on a video. It broke my heart that I had to let go of the four people that relied on me for work. And personally, I've been very overwhelmed been trying my best every day for two years and failing. The pain made it feel like I was...
We love, we love you, you, Alex. Ty, say, say love you. Yo, you. Say Alex. Alex. Hey, we do. Yay. I know you all are out there, and it makes me want to try. Bringing the best out, the best out. Of me. I tried changing formats to vlog tunes. Bringing the best out, the best out of you. I tried doing a new dating series on how I met my wife. Um, uh, do you want some of my chips? Sure. Fritos. Oh, gross. Mayday, mayday. Her judgment's compromised. <laughs> Don't trust this bitch. I tried Are making you? a fictional series called Saving Alex Clark. This is humiliating. You're my sister. You should be helping me. But I guess I have to ask my friends because they're good, moral people. It's me, your best friend Beans here. If you remove all the pickles from the house, I'll tell you what happened. The one positive I've noticed is y'all love it that I've become more adult in my content. And my sister accidentally saw my bum hole and got super mad. Not fair, Daddy! Alex gets a portal to hell in his room and I don't! It's not a portal to hell, it's an Amish paradise! And I see comments on these videos that I haven't seen on my old ones. Things about how much you love the style and the content. And although the views are smaller, I feel more connected to you than I ever have before. The algorithm has not loved it. Hello? Is anybody out there? The year has gone by, it's gotten worse and worse with the views. And I'm starting to get nervous that I won't be able to make videos anymore because I need to make money. Like this month, I made about $700 which when you do the math equals like $3 an hour I made. And it's terrifying to me that I'm so stupid that I can't figure out how to get out of this. To anyone that's backed me on Patreon over the last year, you are the only reason I'm even remotely close to being okay. So thank you to my board members on Patreon. Because right now I feel trapped. You never get what you want. I'll make sure of it. I don't know what to do, but I wanted to tell you because I keep making these videos and acting like nothing is wrong, but clearly something's wrong and I don't know how to fix it. I wanted to let you know because I've always felt that when this channel is at its best, it's when we accomplish things together. So at the very least, this is me letting you know that I'm busting my ass trying to capture that same magic you fell in love with. And I'm reminding myself every day. I'm sure there are lots of folks that want to help me. I really appreciate that very much. The best way to help right now is just watch this video again. Put it on mute if you want. Let it play in the background while you do something else. If everyone watching right now does that, it'll have a tremendous impact. It'll get my watch time up, which will tell YouTube to push my videos out more. Or if you are in a position to join us on Patreon, thank you. No matter how you choose to help, just know I greatly appreciate it. All right, now for that life-changing decision. Like I said, it is scary. Um, and I'm terrified that this is going to sound trivial, but to me it's a huge deal. The decision I've made is I have to push myself to experiment with my content and do things that you don't expect from me here. Yes, I will still make cartoons, okay? It's going to be peppered in with my other videos, but some of the things I have coming up I'm terrified about. There's going to be some guests on here, which I'm sure you're going to love, and I'm going to talk all about it in my next upload. I know there's a lot of folks that think of me as a role model, which I'm, I don't deserve, but I want to keep fighting because as a role model, you shouldn't give up. So we're going to keep doing this. And we gotta believe that this story is gonna have a happy ending. She 
was an angel and he was crazy Didn't understand how lucky was he Telling tall stories till the truth became hazy Tis not the way it was a man to be My name's Alex. Hello, Internet. What's up, web geeks? I think the best way to end this video is to share with you a moment from my one million thank you video that felt very genuine to me. All these years later, it still holds up. Thank you. Thank you to anyone that's click like, subscribe, everyone I've met along the way. You have no idea how much my life has changed because of each and every single one of you. Thank you. This one's for you.